today's video, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be taking a look at some of my old Dragon Ball Z figures from when I was a kid. Uh, I'm talking like early, early 2000s. And some of these figures, they're just so funny to look at because they look nothing like the characters from the actual anime. And a lot of these figures here, I had epic, epic Dragon Ball Z battles with these figures as a kid, okay? And a lot of them are like missing limbs and stuff like that. So they're just super funny to look at. And hopefully this uh, video will bring some nostalgia back into your guys' life as well. And maybe you guys had these figures uh, as a kid too. So if you did, let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you're new to this channel, please consider smashing that subscribe button. All right, enough talking. Let's take a look at these figures. Okay, we'll actually start off with one of my favorites because I actually did really like this figure. And this is Gohan from Planet Namek. And um, I forget, he had, a, he had a Kamehameha Blast or a Kai Blast in his hand. And it used to, I think it used to shoot. I forget, honestly. But uh, as you can see, there's some battle damage on this bad boy. Like, we, me and my brother used to actually destroy these figures. Like, we'd have, abs like, absolute battles. Like, we try and recreate the actual battles, chuck them at the wall and stuff. But uh, I actually do like this, uh, this figure. This one looks pretty good. A little bit of damage there. But, uh, yeah, so this is Gohan uh, from the Namek Sega, from the Frieza Sega. And he just, little OG there. Little OG Gohan action there for y'all. And then we have, hmm, let's just pick randomly. We have, okay, this Go, this Goku is messed up. So we got Super Saiyan Goku here. Look at this guy's face. Bro, look at the hair. Like, it, it looks like it's just been, like, squashed. Like, I don't know who made this toy. I don't even know where it came from. He's missing, in, he's missing his hand, too. Looks like he's about to do some kind of fighting technique. Oh, wait. There's a button back here. Maybe he, like, shot something out of his hand. I, I can't tell you, to be honest. His body turns. What is going on with this figure? But just look at the face. Looks like he, uh... This is just... This is basically just the dollar store ver version of, the, of a Goku. Of a Super Saiyan Goku, okay? Missing his hand. I don't know what happened to this guy, but it's just super uh, nostalgic to me. And uh, it's it's absolutely hilarious just to look at these bad boys. His face, man. I just can't get over his face. It's actually funny. We'll put him to the side and then we'll just grab another random one. Oh, look. We got Mr. Satan here. Hercule. World champion. Check it out. Hercule here. Some Hercule action. This one actually looks pretty good. I don't think uh, this guy been too been through too much. But uh, not, not, not too bad of a Hercule figure. Like I said, these are all from early 2000s. For sure, early 2000s. Uh, we got here... This, this was one of my favorites, okay? This was actually one of my favorites. This was a really cool uh, a toy back in the day. So this is Krillin. And as you can see, he has a hole in his hand, right? You used to be able to put a Destructo Disc in there. And then when you tap his head, he just goes. He just goes, man. Look at this. Because it had like super speed. No joke. This was actually my toy. This was one of my favorite toys. And uh, it, it looks like Krillin too, you know what I mean? It's actually a, a really well done figure. So uh, I, I did like this one, but um, I don't know where his Destructo Disc is. But I used to just do this all day. Just keep going and going. I just loved it. I don't know what it was. I, I had this one. These were my two favorites, the Gohan and the Krillin. But wow, I wish I had his Destructo Disc. I'd, I'd probably still play with this toy. No joke. No joke. And then we got this... um. This GT, we got a GT Goku, Kid Goku. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. He looks a little weird, but uh, still all in one piece, which is surprising. But yeah, it's definitely cool to, I don't know what's going on with his hair. He's got some dirt in there or something, but uh, definitely cool to, to just take a look at these figures once again and just brings back so many memories as a kid, man. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. Um, let's see. Oh, we, we got a big boy here. Majin Buu. And this was mine as well. And this guy's been through some damage. Look, he's missing like a piece off his head. Hold on. Oh, dropped him. He's missing like a piece off his head and stuff. This guy's been through it. I remember I had this band. I had a band-aid around this arm. But uh, this is a pretty cool. I wish this was actually in nice condition because this is a nice uh, Majin Buu figure. I actually do like it a lot. Not too bad. He's got some scars on his face, too. This guy's been through a battle. This guy, I know he's been through battles. Man, they just... These figures, man. Nostalgic. Nostalgic, let me tell you. And then we got... Ooh. 
Goku with the angel wings. Waving. See you later, guys. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I don't even know where this one came from. I don't remember ever buying this. But it's actually it's actually really nice. I would like to display this, actually. Check that out. Goku in all his glory. Doesn't care about dying. Just cares about saving the world. That's all that matters, right? And then we got a... Look, we got a mini Vegeta going on here. Don't know where this one came from either, but uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'm probably going to display these around the game room, to be honest. Check out that little mini Vegeta. Chilling. Awesome, awesome. And then we got straight up. We got Turtle. Out of all of them, we got Turtle. This one's actually sick. Don't see much Turtle figures out there, eh? Check it out. Actually pretty cool. Let's see what that says. What's that say? Is that, uh... By Fun, Funimation. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with his eyes, but... We got some turtle action, too. Okay. And then we got this SS3 Goku that just looks absolutely crumbled. Look at this guy. This guy's been through it. I don't know what's going on with him, man. But, like... It's hard. I, I don't know if you guys can tell what this guy's face actually looks like. Looks like it just got stepped on, and I don't know what's going... Listen, I don't know what's going on with his hair. That's probably actual blood. That's probably actual blood from from playing with these so much as a kid. But uh yeah, definitely a funny face on this SS3. But back then, man, back then, you know, as a kid, you're oh my god, this SS3 Goku probably looked so good back then in the packaging. You just wanted to rip it open and just start chucking it at the wall, making him fly and stuff, doing huge blasts. Because when SS3 first popped off, oh my goodness, SS3 was a big deal. SS3 was a big deal back then. Wow. I can't, I can't look at that face much longer, though. It just it's, it makes me laugh, honestly. Then we got, we got... We got Trunks, but he's missing his head. Where's his head? Hold on, we gotta find his head. What's going on? Where's Trunks? I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait. Wait, that don't look right. Is that Norman Osborn from from Spider-Man? Green Goblin? What happened to you? My boy, what happened to you? Oh, this guy went through it. This guy went through it in BG's household as a kid. We didn't like Green Goblin too much. Norman! Back to formula, my friend. What happened? That ain't the right head. We, we got Super Saiyan... Uh, Super Saiyan Green Goblin. We better watch out. No, for real though. Where, where's Trunks' head? I can't believe I just found Norman Osborn. Look at that. We got it. And I don't know why, but Trunks looks like a 50-year-old man. Uh, it's hard to focus on the head. But man, this, this would have been a dope figure back in the day. I know it came with a sword too. I just don't know where it is. And he also had a blast. Trunks, man. When Trunks came on the scene, everyone was going crazy. But this looks like it doesn't even fit this figure, this head. It kind of looks like it's for another figure. I'd rather put the Norman Osborn one on his head. It kind of looked a little better, eh? Let's see if we can stand him up and, and uh, put him in the background with Norman. Check that out. Oh, yeah. That's sick. I'm going to troll people with that. I'm going to keep this displayed somewhere for sure. Then we have uh, we have a Vegito that doesn't look like Vegito at all. Who is this? Who is this man? It's not focusing. But I don't know. This is this is a this is a funny looking Vegito. Let me tell you that. And he's missing his arm. I don't know where his arm is. What's that say? China? Yeah. So this is from China. Really a uh, weird looking Vegito here. Definitely a dollar store looking Vegito. But uh, what's that back there too? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Then we have. Okay, this was actually a sick figure. I remember buying this. So we got a Capsule Corp uh, machine here. And then we had this Goku that could ride it. I don't know why he would need to ride it, really, because, I mean, he can fly. But he's missing a... He's missing an, another hand. I don't know why all these are missing hands, man. They've been through it. They've absolutely been through it. But it's actually sick. It's actually a sick little figure here. Capsule 341, one of those flying machine Bulma's... Bulma's, uh... Bulma makes... And uh, then we have this this Goku. We'll take a closer look at the Goku because I don't know why his hair is like this color. 
I mean, they tried to make it look gold, I guess, but I mean, it looks kind of kind of green to me. I don't know what's going on. But uh, definitely a cool little figure there with the with the machine to fly. At least the face don't look too bad. But the hair, yeah, they messed up the hair hardcore on this bad boy. And then we're coming down to the final figure. And it is a Goku. SS1 or 2? I think this is right out the hyperbolic time chamber, I want to say. But uh, he looks a little mad. He looks really mad. But I definitely love uh, the figures with the body armor. It looks sick. Oh, what? He got shot in the back, too. I don't know what happened to these men. We, we, we destroyed these bad boys as a kid. But wow. Definitely brings back some nostalgia into our lives. This one, though. Nothing, nothing's ever going to beat this. Super Saiyan Norman Osborn from Spider-Man. Don't forget it. No one's ever taken him out. That's the legend. He's probably going to be in the next movie. That's the legend for sure. Maybe I'll keep that in the background forever. Just as a little troll or something. But the, but those are like some of my childhood figures. Uh, tr my childhood Dragon Ball Z figures from early 2000s. I know I had many more. I just couldn't find them. If I do find them, I'll show you guys them. But they're just hilarious. Like, look at this face. Like, the faces, man. Like, it doesn't get any better. This is definitely by far... Oh, no. Oh, Norman. This is definitely by far the funniest face. Like, I don't know what's going on with this Goku, but it's hilarious. But, guys, I just thought it'd be a fun little video, a little different video to just show you guys these figures. Hopefully, it brought some nostalgia back into your guys' lives, into your childhood. And um, if you guys got figures like this, if you had these, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of card openings and stuff like that, Dragon Ball related. So, don't want to miss out on those. Also, click notification bells. So you don't miss out on any videos or giveaways. Guys, I love y'all. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.